cosita. So. Lo compo zilla. I thought this was gonna be a whole moment between like maybe my founder's wife and and the child, but no, it was just a river. <laughs> also, before I get into this video, I'm, I'm gonna give these people makeovers, but I aged up Finley here and he spawned in this outfit and it's hilarious. Um. I'm tempted to keep it. I mean, like, this is a moment, but I get really, oh my god, the knuckle tattoos. I get really bothered by um these tattoos not staying on my sims as they get older and change outfits. The tattoo only comes with the outfit, you know? So, like, he's a poser right now. Um, So, we're gonna change him. I, I just thought it was kind of funny. Hey everyone, Zephyr here, and welcome to my Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. As you can probably tell, we are now in university. I aged up all the boys, and um, I have a confession to make, guys. I'm, like, absolutely in love with Hunter. Now, Hunter was kind of, like, the neglected child of the Legacy. In fact, like, we didn't really play any of his, like, childhood days. Uh, <laughs> when he actually aged up into a child, he had apparently hit rock bottom. Uh, and we kind of ignored him as a toddler. But, um, seeing the sim now... I'm, I'm kind of in love. Um, if I, I'm still planning on probably making a poll to decide who's the heir of the legacy is going to be. But um, I'm heavily favoriting uh, Hunter right now. All the boys moved into the land grab dorms. Um, and like I said, they're all aged up. I gave them all little makeovers. Uh, here we have Elijah with... And, he was actually lucky enough to bring his girlfriend, Asia, along. She She's in this really fun uh, outfit I had downloaded pretty recently. She She's in her goth era. I feel like it kind of suits her vibe. And here is Finley. I, I wanted... <laughs> okay, you'll see the vibe I was going for with his outfit. Like, one of those, like, stereotypical, like, preppy men. That's Finley. Uh, this is Oliver's girlfriend. Um, I love her. I think she's really pretty. Uh, they actually aren't official yet, but, like, they kind of had, like, a little thing going. Uh, so I decided to move her in. We'll, we'll see if the relationship, del like, develops. And here's Oliver just kind of, like, jamming out on the karaoke machine that I decided would be a good idea to have in this dorm room. Uh... Realistically speaking, I don't think these bubbles would be in the dorm room. Um, considering how Sims seem to react to it. But I, I, I think it's a fun university item. Um, maybe they like try to hide it when they know dorm inspections are happening. But yeah, we'll talk about the boys kind of individually. So Elijah is not related to my founder, uh, but he is related to my founder's wife. He's a pleasuresome who wants to become a professional party guest, so uh, I think he's going to spend a lot of his university years partying. Finley aspires to be a businessman. He wants to own, like, top five level businesses. Um, so maybe he'll be more studious when it comes to university. Oh, and for some reason I thought, uh, Debbie was with Oliver, but Oliver, Oliver is actually single, I think. Yeah, I'm getting my boys mixed up. Like, my bad. So, this makes more sense, actually. I, I feel like these two look better together. So, I love that for them. They have little crushes on each other. That's cute. Uh, but everyone has to go to class, so we'll let them do that. I guess the goal is to pretty much have these sims figure out their lives, um, meet new people. I, I don't think I'm gonna allow any more dormies in this dorm. Oh, maybe I should. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Because I do want them to socialize, like, with more people other than themselves, you know? So I, I might add more people in. While they're studying, though, let's take a look at the bedrooms. So this is Debbie's room. I think it's really cute, a nice little basic dorm room. 
and then I have Asia's room, which does not have any um, windows. It's kind of tragic. Just gonna get rid of all these here. And here's Elijah's room. I was like slowly running out of money as I was make building these rooms, uh, but that's fine. Finley's room. Hunter's room. And I think there's one more, right? There, there's one more child. Yeah, all Oliver's room. So this is gonna be an absolute mess because I find university to be super exhausting, and now I have to control like six sims. So um, Debbie wants to declare a literature major. Uh, her lifetime one is to reach the golden anniversary. So I I'm fine with her being a writer. Um. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, I did do a little bit of a makeover on the land grab dorms here. It's a maxi slot, but I changed the kitchen. Well, the cafeteria area. It, it didn't used to look like this. Now it does. It's not, like, major changes, um, but I think it's a cute little setup for them. They also have this little living room area that I changed a bit. I changed the bathrooms because the bathrooms in this build are, like, super ugly, so I kind of, like... Uh, fix those up a bit, and I added things to the living room. It's it's not a major renovation. I didn't feel like it warranted like a new video, but um, it's something I did. So I'm gonna have Debbie here declare her major. Let's see how everyone else is. Asia wants to sing karaoke with a sim. Hunter wants to get into the art major, but I don't want him to do that though. However. I do want him to kiss someone. I want him to meet someone. We're, we're gonna have to spawn in dormies. I'll do that in a second. Um, but yeah, he wants to become a Hall of Famer. He's not gonna do that with an arts degree. So, funnily enough, though, he's gonna become a drama major. Uh, because that helps the... Why are you walking like that? I, I forgot that's the thing. Buddy, fix your posture. I, anyway, yeah, well... If he becomes a drama major and graduates, that will help him in the athletic career. So I want him to do that. Yeah, so she is going to be a literature major. There we go. And Hunter is going to be a drama major. It's it's lagging a little bit because I am currently making some townies. Uh, but we are going to have roommates that I don't have to control. Love that for me. Why isn't this lady cooking for us? Yeah, the cafeteria worker just keeps refusing to make food. Apparently, it's a common glitch. Uh, they can make their own food, but they keep burning it. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm actually attempting that they build their skills up, though, because I do want them to do well in university. I'm not sure how well that is going to go, though. But Elijah needs, like, a creativity point, and he is trying his best. I can't say the same for Finley. He is kind of distracted at the moment. But that's fine. Hey, they're they're all in beds that they're not supposed to be in. I, I should really lock the doors. But yeah, this, this man was so neglected as a child that he didn't get any points at all, even during toddlerhood. Like, his brothers at least have some points. Um, Hunter, not so much. Uh... Love him, though. Oh, God. We got some drama already. Um, Debbie is, like, fighting this random townie. Uh, not quite sure why. Maybe because she's hungry. Anyways, uh, that was pretty smart of uh, Hunter to put a lock on his door. I, I, I don't think he wants uh, anyone coming into his dorm that could cause trouble like this. Oof. Okay. Oh. I literally don't know what happened to cause this. Um. I, I, I like how they're just kind of like <laughs> cheering her on instead of helping. Like. Shouldn't this guy be trying to protect his girlfriend? Oh, he got his ass kicked, though. Love that. Love that for Debbie. Um, but I really need to start taking care of these people's needs. Oh my god. I can tell you one thing right now. You are not getting a WOM rat. Like, you, you can't even take care of yourself. 
have some cereal or something. I, I don't think any of these sins are going to graduate, for the record. Like, I have no idea how I'm going to edit this, but this is going to be a mess. I just want to say I appreciate the cafeteria's workers' vibe of not wanting to work. Um, she is really just standing there doing nothing, and I feel that. I forgot to get rid of my townie gun. That's awkward. Okay, so Elijah wants to declare for business, um, and he wants to be an architect, so, like, that would not help him at all. So, unfortunately, he's gonna have to be an art major. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, he did not want to be an art major. Uh, I'm sorry. But, like, he wants to be a city planner, so, like, literally make up your mind, my dude. Okay, this would actually work so much better if cafeteria worker was actually working correctly what am i missing oh they apparently they apparently need counter islands that that literally could be it oh my god thank you random mod the sims post from like 2006 gay john 104 you are my literal hero you, you saved my game now elijah wants to be a slacker i have no idea what um major would help him with that apparently literature let's let's see if there's something else so he doesn't really yeah he he doesn't strike me as a literature kind of guy i'm a philosophy major um yeah i can kind of see it i, I can kind of see it he, he he'll be a philosophy major guys my sims can actually eat normal meals now <laughs> <laughs> this changes everything. Okay, you know what I think the strat is? Sending them to the community a lot alone so they can study that way. Without the uh, drama of having to take care of everyone else. I think I'm actually a genius. Also, it's like a nice little change of scenery moment. Um, Is this the most... Wait a second. Why is this yellow? Hello? What? What is this plant? I've never seen- what? This plant looks off to me. This tree. Like, I've never seen it before. How is it- how, what? Uh, can I put this at my sims houses? Wait, is it- is this a, the, like, tree that's, like, red in the spring or something? I've never seen it in yellow before. I want it. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now I can have Elijah study without being distracted. Um, I'm probably going to do the same to the other people in the household because I do genuinely want these guys to do well and I'm having a hard time keeping up with their skills right now. I'm, I'm being honest. I mean, that might not be particularly surprising considering earlier on in this Let's Play, I had like three of the four children get taken away by the social worker. But... I'm surprised nonetheless. He's looking at me like, well, why are you surprised? It, it, like, he's definitely judging me, but that's fine. Now, <laughs> I'm telling you guys that this man's my favorite, right? Like, I love him, uh, but I am not taking care of his needs. It, it's not ideal. Hey, uh, you could very potentially. Uh, first of all, I'm going to ignore the fact that your hand is facing through your chest. I'm finding it hard to ignore. But this man could very potentially be your brother-in-law in the future. Uh, you shouldn't find him as disgusting as you do. I'm sorry. I'm having Oliver do his little assignment in his dorm. Love that for him. Oh! I, I, I was focusing on the- This is your first kiss? It's cute when they do it, like, by themselves, though. Like, I didn't tell them to do this. I, I was just a little jump-scared. I think they're just trying to impress me enough that I make him a heir. They're like, hey, we can be cute, too. Look, look at me, I'm spinning around. Like, this is, like, Tom Holland and Zendaya energy right now. I'm kind of into it. Okay, consider me a little bit of impressed. Okay, well, who's fighting? Debbie? Oh, Debbie and the, the townie again. She's... 
I was gonna be like, oh, the university worker is yell yelling at them to stop, but it seems like she's just booing and egg egging them on. Once again, Debbie won, though, and I love that. Hey, you need to stop, like, being... Okay. Uh, I, was, I was just gonna call... <laughs> Okay, I was just gonna call Debbie out specifically for once again, you know, being disgusted by one of her lover's uh brothers, but um, the whole dorm is kind of disgusted by him. This is actually a funny moment. Wait, this is like kind of like accidental renaissance, risking it all and having Pinley study in the party room, um. Most of the house is sleeping, though, so I, I think he's okay. It's fairly quiet, besides the uh, salsa music in the background. But honestly, if you don't study with salsa music in the background, like, are you even stu studying? This poor man is having a final exam at 1 in the morning. I I am sorry. By the way, I have a uh, mod that makes it so university is a bit quicker, because by default, it's pretty overwhelmingly slow. Elijah has finished the semester with a b plus grade as a result the school has given elijah a grant of 800 simoleons love that for him i just want to say like every sim in the household is like using this karaoke machine like by themselves except the woman that like constantly has wants to go and sing karaoke but she wants to sing a duet she's gonna have to do that with um with Elijah soon. Finley made the Dean's List. Asia made the Dean's List. Uh, the last semester didn't go well and now Hunter is on academic probation. <laughs> so this this man hit rock bottom uh, when he was a child and <laughs> now he's on academic promo probation as a young adult. Um, he's He's struggling. He's also not really being much of a romance sim, um, so, poor guy. So, I'm, I'm claiming that this guy is my favorite sim, right? So, I feel like my goal now should be to actually, uh, make his life a little better because clearly he, he's not doing well. He'll just have this little therapy session and be okay, it's fine. But yeah, we'll, we'll study a little bit and um, we're over here at the library and then maybe after studying, we'll talk to people as a little treat. So I'll have him do what a typical romance sim does after he's done this little breakdown. He's going to scope the room and tell me who he finds hot. Vin is hot. I'd argue that the outfit is not, but we can go talk to her. Wait. Hello? Okay, and then, let me go look at this girl real quick. My my interests are somewhere else, honestly. I mean... Vin is fine, but this lady, Ellen, I think is prettier. So we're going to talk to her. I'm thinking... She's, she is judging us a little bit, but I'm thinking of future legacy babies, okay? So, we're gonna check her out, and we think she's hot too, so we actually have two bolts with her. Dude, like... If we stop melting down, maybe we could actually have some luck with the ladies. Like, she is clearly not impressed with you right now. We're having, like, very easy conversations, and I love that for them. Um, are they being necessarily very courteous to their fellow students right now, talking loudly in the library? No, I don't think so. But they could have their nice little, like, Wattpad moment in here. Like, we're not gonna stop them. But can we have a cute little first kiss in the library? Ideally, this townie will get out of the way and not ruin the moment. Uh, okay. Oh. 
I love it when my sims have little Wattpad moments like that. Love that for them. And they have little crushes on each other. Okay, so we're not going to propose marriage just yet. We're going to pretend they exchange numbers. And uh, I'm going to send... <laughs> I'm gonna send Hunter home. He can't be out too late. But like, are you guys feeling Hunter? Like, do you like him? Cause I like him. I am open to the idea of potentially having two heirs to the legacy. Um, so if we like more than one of them, we could definitely have two heirs. We'll, we'll have to think about it. He's just finally getting what she wanted in a duet with her partner. I'm like obsessed with the, like these animations. I'm sorry. Like, look how cute my Sims are. Okay, there's a random streaker. Uh, my Sims are fighting. I I think the streaker is kind of mad that Debbie is like stealing her spotlight. Um, that's very unfortunate. Flirt with Professor Jasmine. Buddy, are you- I mean, you're a romance sim, I guess. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna risk it all and ask the professor on a date. La Copa Buma? You know, bud. Community lot at your place? Um, community lot? Let's go. I feel like they wouldn't want to be seen in the university. Um, so we're gonna go downtown. To Gothier Green Lawns, a nice little park. Let's go. This is a little scandalous. But we gotta do what we gotta do. I mean, maybe this will lead to, like, better grades. We're just gonna casually talk to her and make a couple jokes. We don't have to do anything serious right now. We'll just get to know her. Is playing catch with your professor at a park downtown away from school problematic? Maybe, but it's not legal, is it? They're, they're adults. So listen, maybe this whole dating thing isn't for us. This is a lame date. Listen, I was just trying to, like, take it slow. I, I wasn't trying to be super serious. I was just trying to have a nice time with you. You don't have to be so mean. So, uh... <laughs> clearly, that plan did not work. Um, we tried. So I feel like it might be interesting to actually leave this household for a bit and see what's hap- Okay, I, I don't think I can show what's going on right now. I'll do my best to censor it, but um... It's like a glitch when it comes to uh, custom content in the game and your sim appears nude. But normally I'm used to my sims having like the Barbie look to them, but um, I guess the skin tone I'm using right now for the sim has, has proper anatomy. Anyway, let's go check out how they're doing. Mary is in like a really poor mood. Uh, I mean like her needs are incredible because obviously I cheated at some point and everyone in the house is maxed out, but... She is feeling down in the dumps, She, and she wants to go on a vacation. I kind of want to send them on a vacation. Not necessarily to the Far East, though. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I, I'm not going on a vacation right now. That, that's a bit too much for this uh, portion of the Let's Play, I think. A lot has already happened. We, we need to slow our roll. Um... What we can do, though, is send them on this nice little date night in the rain, uh, in the middle of the love hedge. They haven't had time to just, like, hang out by themselves and, um, you know, gossip about Eric's adult son. I, I feel like this is good. We're gonna ignore the fact that there's some sort of, like, redhead convention happening right now, too, um... No idea what's going on there, but that's fine. Like, there's literally a redhead convention going on. I didn't notice this sim. Um, Eric is kind of out of place, but he's being a supportive husband. So, Mary had, like, jumped in the pool, and now she is kind of, like, surrounded by bubbles. Um, 
Not really sure what's going on there. But maybe ending the date with a little, um... Post-date woohoo in the car would be a fun little idea. I haven't had a sim like woohoo in the car in a while. It used to be like one of my favorite spots to woohoo. <laughs> the car gets really into it. You guys know I was planning that. You you, you knew it. Uh, uh, Mary's pregnant. Um, we're having another kid because I'm friggin' crazy. Let's go home. Joy thought she was gonna have an empty nest, and uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm excited to continue the boys' university adventures. Um, I'm really hoping that Eric and Mary have a girl because I feel like this Let's Play is lacking in females and I, I just want them to have a girl. Uh, so we'll see. But if you guys like the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.